Hey there. So I come across this story and it, it just goes to show the mass hysteria in our mainstream media. Now this hit, I think this story hit like 20 hours ago. So it says power outage warning. Now in the UK, the, the threatening of us with no petrol, no gas, rolling blackouts, um, so many people dying and whatever from the old plague. They want us absolutely terrified. So here we go with the express power outage. They're now trying to terrify us with a big solar flare heading to Earth. Du, du, du. Time of direct hit predicted. I wonder when this was. Let's have a look. There's some um, CGI from um, Not A Space Agency. So we don't want to watch that about solar flares. It's nothing to do with this particular one. Right then. The Space Weather Prediction Centre in the US has issued a G2 geomagnetic storm warning for... October 11th. What's the date today? Hmm. It is October the 12th, around 10 a.m. when I'm filming this in the morning. So basically, this should have happened. This was published 22 hours ago, so it was an intimate warning. The way that they do these, they're not going to tell you until it's about to happen, Malaki, like in the movies. They did it yesterday, and it was going to hit yesterday. Well, I'm still sat here. Are you? It goes to show how much the mainstream media try and terrify us mere mortals, us, us plebs as they like to call us. So a high, alt, high latitude power stations may experience, experience voltage alarms. Did your power go off, anybody? It didn't happen to me in the UK. Spacecraft, satellite... Orientation irregularities may occur. Increased drag on low Earth orbit satellites is possible. I'm wondering where they're going to go for this big shutdown of the old tinter web. And this is the plan. It's to blame it on a solar flare. They're just getting us ready by the looks of it. So the sun is the primary cause of space weather. Now, do you believe in space? Do you believe... Um, the dome theory do you believe that our solar system is, is it I think if there is space I don't believe there's anything beyond our solar system in my opinion if there is a solar system so there you go this is supposed to be the sun earth right here we go so there's some little graphs here to make it look you know like Right, okay, whatever. Uh, at times, the sun can be thought of going through a stormy period. So there you go. These solar events can help illuminate the night sky with stunning aurora. They can also do considerable harm to electronics, electrical grids and satellite and radio communications. Well, globalists, you want everything digital, don't you? You don't want anything manual. You don't want anything mechanical so that you can control everything. So if this is true and this happens, we've all got cars now that have all got electronic brains in. Everything, you know, you can't even turn your car over these days. It's usually a button or something in the new cars, you know. So anyway, are you still here? Did you have a power outage? Let me know below. All good here in the uh, bunny towers. Anyway, I just a big thank you again to the kind people who helped Snoopy, um, Angel and Debbie R came to my rescue the other day. Thank you so much. And to everybody else who's chipped in, I just want to say a huge thank you. You guys are amazing. If anybody else wants to help, the links are in the description. We've now got to go for Snoopy's teeth to be sorted out and the rabbits, vaccines and neuter. So without us, they would have ended up God knows where, possibly pregnant 
and having lots more babies that would have just been dumped. So, you know, for those of you who say, right, it's a lifestyle choice, trust me, it's not a lifestyle choice. We've given up our lives to save animals that need us. So, you know, but you guys know this. I love you guys. I want to say a huge thank you again to everybody who has helped. And just let me know below, did you have any power outages? Until the next one, take care, lots of love, bye bye.